Welcome to this week's Monday Minutes. My name is Kelly. And my name is Jesse. And this week, we're going to talk about a really neat feature on the Koha OPAC, which allows you to browse. You can browse by title, author, or subject. Now, there's a few things that you have to have turned on uh, in order to use this feature. And the first is Elasticsearch. So Kelly, tell us a little bit about Elasticsearch, high-level overview. Originally, and still currently, Koha uses a Zebra search engine. A couple of years ago, I think 2018, it was introduced at COACON in Portland, Oregon to say we are looking to move to an Elasticsearch configuration, which gives libraries ability to configure their indexes a little bit more specifically on how patrons are searching. So slowly we have been testing it. We had some great early adopters to do it. And now we are transitioning libraries to this elastic search because it is more powerful and more robust. How'd I do? Perfect. Okay, good. So what we'll talk about today is the option that you have. You'll notice here we have it. It's in our menu that allows us to browse search. So again, Elasticsearch does have to be enabled in order for you to use this feature. But I know, Kelly, going out for years for training, people have asked about this option to be able to browse and say, you know, show me what's preceding and proceeding um, when we look for a particular author or title or subject. So you'll notice here we have a drop down on the right hand side, which allows us to select what we're looking for. So we'll we'll start with subject. And if we come in here, we have three options down below. Exact would require us to have the exact subject that we're looking for. So it's only going to bring those matches. Fuzzy means it'll kind of give, you know, do a little give. So it'll add or subtract some of the words that may be around it. Really fuzzy would be the extreme. So it's going to look for just a little bit of that phrase or title or author or subject that you put in there. So we'll start with just fuzzy. That's the default. So if we come in here and we're going to do a search for crime, you'll notice that's going to bring back some results in the system. So let's say we're looking for crime and literature. It's going to show us any of the titles that match that subject in the system. And if we click on it, it'll open a new tab and then take us right out uh, to that particular title in the collection. So, you know, that's that's one really nice way. Of course, the other thing we can do is title. So if we come over here and we're going to do our infamous Harry Potter, we perform that search, that's going to bring back all of our results in the system. So again, this gives us the opportunity to come in, select um, one of the, the values that we find, and then that takes us out. This is really great because I think that, you know, I'm the kind of person that sees when I'm looking at this record here, I look at the subjects and say, oh, look, which is fiction. And sometimes I'll click those. So it's sort of like that, but it, in the reverse to say, I remember I liked this subject. Um, what else is in that area? Yeah. Yeah. So this is great. So just a quick uh, look at what this browse search feature does. Um, if you're on Elasticsearch, this is something that um, you can set up. And if not, uh, you can submit a ticket and we'll talk to you about the options for moving to Elasticsearch on your Koha system. Uh, Jesse, one last question. Is there a system sure. preference to turn this on, browse search, once I'm on Elastic? Yeah, absolutely. That's a great question, Kelly. So what we'll do is we'll go over to the staff side into our administration and of course, system preference. The System preference is called OPAC Browse Search. And when it is set to enable, that will allow you to browse holdings. And you'll notice it tells you right there, Elasticsearch only. So if you are on Zebra, you'll have to move to Elasticsearch and again, submit a ticket um, if you are a partner so we can make that switch for Elasticsearch because there is some configuration we have to walk you through. Absolutely. So that will be exciting. So if you're just hearing about Elasticsearch, we'll attach some nice blog posts to our um our existing blog post to get you kind of in the know. So this is exciting. Thanks, Jesse. Yeah, thanks. And Kelly, what's our countdown to COACON? Oh my gosh, it's going to be a little over a month. So maybe five weeks. Yeah, mm. can't wait. Can't wait. Okay, we'll see you next week. See you next week. Bye. Bye.